Good morning guys and welcome to the vlog. We have been in our expedition truck for 146 days and a lot of you guys are wondering like, are they really happy in this 13 foot box? And we're gonna get to that, but let's talk about something real quick. So, frustration equals living in a 13 foot box and booking an Airbnb for two weeks. Like we said, you know, we're gonna be taking breaks from the road in this vehicle. And uh, also our dads are both gonna fly out for uh, an early Christmas. But so we booked this place, we're all set. And keep in mind, this place has like a clawfoot bathtub, a uh, jacuzzi, uh, four bedrooms, just all kinds of great space. But the owners, our hosts, call us yesterday and tell us that they just sprayed pesticides and you should be careful with your dog for the uh, first, you know, 24 hours. And in my mind, you know, having a uh, almost 17 year old little dog who is, you know, has been recovering from, and doing great by the way, a neurological condition, it was just a bad idea to stay in there in the first place for the first 24 hours. Now here's a little irony to add on to that story. We actually ended up picking the Walmart in, in Charleston that we stayed at three years ago when we drove the East Coast. It was right before Thanksgiving because we were headed to Cape Coral to have Thanksgiving with family. And uh, we pulled in there last night and we're like, we stayed, we parked there. <laughs> So the thing I remember most about that day was that our uh, GPS was acting very unintelligent at the time. And that GPS just so happens to be the same exact GPS that our new RV has, the Garmin RV LMT 760, or aptly named in our vehicle, Dip. I think RV GPSs are a topic for another video. And on the topic of things I remember from that Walmart, I remember that we had a huge fight that night. <laughs> All right, well, let's use that to segue into uh, are we really happy in this RV? And I would be lying if there haven't been some tense moments. I hate you! But you love me so much! Not right now! You're <laughs> lucky I'm legally bound to love you right now! I've thought about this a lot as we've processed the last 146 days and I've remembered back to when we first had Nelly. And it's really easy to forget because by the end of our seven years with Nelly, we had everything dialed in so that life was not any more challenging than it was at home. But when you first purchase any kind of a rig, it's going to have shortcomings and things that you need to make life easier at home. Uh, and we did that with Nelly. We got a, a cell phone booster and we made it so that we had a 12 volt TV and we got a Yeti so that we could charge our computers. And, Kick ass couch. Yeah, a really comfortable place to sleep and a new mattress and all these things. But it took time and the first three years were actually, of course it was three summers. We didn't full time in Nelly initially, but it took time to dial it in and that's really easy to forget now, but I really think that that's what we're going through right now in the new rig is a process of making it our own and making it so that life is not that much different than it is at home. You touched on two things. I'm just going to rephrase them a little bit, but shortcomings. It's a 13 foot box with two people living in it. It's a literal I don't, shortcoming. Yeah, I don't care who you are. There are going to be challenges and learning curves when you uh, move into that. And learning curves. Here's an embarrassing moment. Our SPAR heater, you know, I did service it. And that's all good. But that sucker quit working uh, on us uh, over the past, it was slow progression over the past two weeks or so. And I just couldn't figure it out because it would start back up. It sometimes work. It's like, what's going on here? And I never thought about it until we experienced a humid day at our last campsite. It was so humid that it showed the fluid level in the driver's side fuel tank. And it was a little below half. 
And then I got to thinking, damn, where's the fuel pickup for that? And it turns out that fuel pickup is probably somewhere in that area because the uh, furnace or SPAR has been working a lot better as of late. Since we filled the tank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I also, you know, I know things need fuel. Come on, that's common sense. But I also didn't think that between our stove and the, uh, sorry, here. going through a little tight, tight bridge here and the heater, we would have gone through 15 gallons of fuel in two months. I'm okay with the amount that we went through. I just didn't know it at the time that we would go through that much. So if you remember back to when we talked about moving into Denny and changing lifestyle. Downsizing. Downsizing. Yeah. One of the solutions was every three to six months, we would take a break and spend some time in an Airbnb. Hello. Christmas decorations. Yay! I was hoping they would. I saw some in the pictures. Nice little kitchen. Oh yeah, this is great. We can do some little cooking. Bistro in here. table. Well, here's the living room. Oh, great. Oh, like, oh my gosh, I didn't see this in the pictures. Yeah, that's cool. This is awesome. Oh, this is fantastic. Washer dryer. We can get a bunch of laundry done. I think this is where the hot tub is. Oh yeah. Oh Choosy. yes. <laughs> nice. Huge backyard for Secure. Shelby. She's gonna love it. Back oh, here. and it's gorgeous back here. Did I do okay, Benny? You did very well, and like good choice for choosing Charleston. The South, obviously, most people know things are a lot more affordable here. You look at fuel prices, and that'll tell you everything. Check out this bed. It's like obviously wow. two beds, but. That's a massive bed. Imagine kids would have a blast in here. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. We're gonna get so spoiled. Bedroom number two. Ooh, this is nice and yeah. cozy. That's cool. Now, this oh. is the piece de resistance. <laughs> the clawfoot bath. Tub. Yay! I'm so happy to have this. Uh, bedroom number three. Ooh, this is nice too. And oh, bedroom so number four. Yeah. So a little bit more to the story. We mentioned at the beginning that uh, we had a little issue because they've sprayed pesticides here, which is an absolute mess in the south apparently. And um, a little more to that story is that we're the first guests uh, with their new pet policy. Prior to this, they didn't allow pets here. And it just was something that wasn't on their radar until they stopped by to check on everything yesterday for us and realized like, uh-oh. So they made it right. They were amazing. They've been fantastic and helpful and polite and friendly and very welcoming the whole time. And it's just a little hiccup, you know, something that they didn't think about until the very last second. So life goes on, it's all good, we made it right and we are so excited to stay here. Before Ben wraps this video up, I did want to check with you guys, since we're gonna be in the Charleston area for two whole weeks, we're wondering who's in the area and would you like to do a meetup? Comment below and let us know what you think. Okay, all settled in and this is gonna be nice, guys. Uh, so back to that topic, uh, the truck. Man, the truck is spot on, guys. Uh, we did have one little time when they're like this red low coolant light flashing, and it's done it a couple times, but it's like so intermittent. I'm not even worried about it because the temp is good, the level is good. Uh, the camper, it is taking some getting used to, but that's also one of the reasons why we are uh, going to stick around a little bit longer before we up the ante on the travels is to give us time to make the renovations, but yet still find time to enjoy life because everything is a balance. And uh, you want to also avoid just getting burnt out. That is a fact of life. So this is it, a little bonfire ring. They even have some firewood over there. This is going to be great. We also wanted a, uh, or needed actually, I should say, a place to do some uh, recording in a controlled environment. We've been trying to bust out some videos and the weather just has not been cooperating. Wind noise 
is a tremendous challenge uh, when you're trying to vlog or to maybe not vlog because vlog is great because imperfection is authenticity but when you're trying to make a video about this kick butt first aid kit or your year in review video you really don't want to be battling wind noise so that's a wrap we're going to enjoy our time here stay tuned for plenty of videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you later